Hello, this is a free call from Charlie. Yeah, hello. An incarcerated individual at the Leon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hey, sorry, I'm in my doctor's office. I just came out. I was doing exams and he tried to call me. No, no, he gave me a few minutes. No, he said, how do you know? You can't read my mind. So I I just got out. I got a few minutes until he calls me back in. Okay. Uh, so you want is there a better time for me to call you? No, 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 no. Let's not. We have a few minutes. Let's talk because I don't know how long I'm going to be here for. Okay. Um, well, if you get to know, let, let me know when you got to go. But no, he's going to call me. I'll, I'll tell you when they grab me. I'll let you know. Okay. They'll grab you when they need you. Yeah, I think there's there some blood work or some testing here, so they're waiting for the for the blood people to to get me. So that's a good thing. I got okay. the time. Um, all right. I just want to say thank you for helping my parents who sorted through stuff. Well, listen, whatever I can do, I can do it. There's so much I can do. Um, how are you holding up there? I mean, I know it's an uncomfortable situation right now. I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I, you know, because they do the precautionary measures. Whenever you're found guilty of these charges, they put you in suicide cells. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm in a cell with like the, the floor is red. The walls are lined green, and they just a lot of the walls are shit on the walls, they're shit on the ceiling, and they piss on the floor. Interesting. And they, yeah, and they have the lights on 24-7, they have a video camera in the room, and it's got a steel door, but with like the, the glass and the mirror tint to it, mm-hmm. you can't see at it, so you can't see at it. So I'm like in a box with large shit all over the place, and a camera on me at all times. And how long and, uh, do you have to be there? It's supposed to be 72 hours, but I just found out that, like, if you cry or you show any emotional distress, they can keep you in here indefinitely. And I'm like, hmm. well, who wouldn't be upset? You just got convicted of first degree murder and you're fucking spelled by yourself in a box. You can't, I can't see Adam. The window is all mirrored. So the nine by six with a video camera, like, who wouldn't be upset? Right. If there's something wrong with you, you're not upset. Right. So how are your, fa- how your parents hang hang in there? I mean, I know that the, uh, the, they seem to be okay. I mean, I saw them this morning. They seem to be holding on. Yeah, I'm sure they're uh, I'm sure they're taking some advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, trying to relax. Do you drive. speak to Wendy? Do you speak to Wendy at all? They should call you. No, I've not spoken to her at all. Really? Why? Really? Really? Yeah, yeah. No, I guess it's just the. I guess it's just the lawyers do it. Uh, It's not not like we're on bad terms or anything. Not on bad terms at all. Um, But I guess you have to get clearance. Are they okay before we talk? I mean, listen, everything's going to be recorded and everything. I know. The word gets twisted as you see it case, like. You could say something and mean one thing, and then they can twist it six different ways. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's. Uh, I understand. Oh man, it's, it's, let me just say this: there was not a chance in hell I would have ever won a case up in Tallahassee. Not a chance in hell. Did you, try to move ven- did you try to move the venue? Did you try to move the venue? And they denied it. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think they did two venue changes, and they wouldn't move it. This was the biggest case in Tallahassee since that month. Hmm. Like, if there was ever a case that needed to be changed the venue after all these years of all the news media, I mean, this was like out of the surface. There was court TV there. The jury pool was was literally... We, we have the best jury consultants in the, in the world. And I say, mm-hmm. come down and do the, the go there to help us pick the jury and sort through them. It was there was such shit to pick through. Um with a few jurors that would have been good for us. You know, that would have had and when I say good for us, I mean I think they would have given me a fair shot and listened to the evidence and actually 
look at it and said, you got to be guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And, like, really, like, thought for themselves. Mm-hmm. As soon as they, as soon as they appeared, I would say probably two in ten jurors would have been fair and given me a good shot. I would have had a, a shot just like anybody else walking into a courtroom and doing it. The, the, the prosecution was able to see that these would have been fair people for me. They put X's on them. Mm-hmm. So they get 10 X's, we get 10 X's. The problem is our 10 X's were used getting people off the jury that would have been horrible for us. I mean, I had a guy yeah. that was a 24 year lieutenant with the Miami Dade Police Department. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, we had a girl whose husband was a sheriff's officer. You're off. We had somebody whose son, his nephew, took the 911 call from when he got shot. Like, wow. her nephew took took the call. He was the 911 operator. And the judge goes, well, can you be fair and this is the case and give you a problem with the rule of law? She goes, oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so when she got to the next round, we had to use an act on her. Like, she was either too, she was too much about the case or something, her nephew took the 911 call. Mm-hmm. Like you, the people that were coming in, you know, that we were that were at least truthful enough that we realized we couldn't have them. We were getting rid of. The question is, if we had 93 people who said something in the questionnaire that made them that they were impartial, impartial, you know, that they were biased. Mm-hmm. How many people lied to get on our jury? Just because why? Because of Emma's case, it's a big, big. Is that why you're saying? Of course, people wanted to get on the jury. We had, people, we had one guy come in and say he knew nothing about the case. He only heard a little bit about it. And he was a really nice guy. He, like, the people that checked out the police jurors went on his Facebook. Three months ago, he was posting that he wanted to kill Sigfredo Garcia on his on a Facebook account. Hmm. That's nice. like, he, was, he was posting about the case that he wanted. He wished he could kill Sigfredo Garcia. But hmm. He just came in and said he knew nothing about the case. Holy shit. And that's yeah. when we were sitting there. And my attorney and the, the other attorney I had, we all looked at the judge. We were like, this guy just came in and lied to our face so he could get on the jury. And he, he's posting about it. He was lying about posting about it. He, yeah, well, then he was, people lie. Yeah, well, yeah, but Alex, you shouldn't be... It's just like somebody's life that you're lying to get on a case to further your agenda. That's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I know. I, I, I never in a look. I never in a million years would have won a trial up here. Never in a million years. There, there was no. You, if you saw what she did with her clothing, everything was like real folksy and like y'all, y'all better do with you. Follow your common sense. Like, yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, and they made the whole thing about my mom's emails and my sister's book and my, and my mom's text messages and, like, twisting and turning everything. Like, yeah, I was getting my dad a birthday present. It had nothing to do with this. Just saying, oh, you know you'll come through on a birthday present. Like, I ended up paying through the catering bill whole party and they were able to prove it. But, yeah, I mean, nothing we said. Everything was on deaf ears. Nothing, mm-hmm. nothing would have mattered. Yeah, it's not over yet. I mean, I, I think you guys are going to go for a, a, a try to do an appeal, right? I'm going to imagine. Yeah, they're going to do whatever. Um, they're going to do whatever they can. It just fucking sucks because you know, I don't, I don't see us ever being more prepared for a trial mm-hmm. than we were just in this trial, and my everything came through. So well, like everything was going really well. I mean, Alex, I was on cloud nine last Friday. Last Friday, like after you know, after the, they they put my sister's attorney on, and after I had I had testified for a day and a half, like I was Green was telling me, like people online were writing, like oh my god, like you know, they, we actually were probably going to win, like they see a different side to the case, like. Mm-hmm. Not just how the state needs to make it. And, like, she did her closing on Monday. She made it up like a dateline special. 
with all possibilities. Mm-hmm. Two hours. It's a real book. He's like talking about my sister's book, and basically it was almost like she was foreshadowing herself and the move and how she hated Tallahassee. And you know, you put these people down, you tell them how much you hate their town, tell them what horrible people we are. She lied her ass off. You know, she, you know, she had in her closing. She goes, even his best friend Ryan Fitzpatrick said he said he could get away with murder if he keeps his mouth shut. Even his best friend said that. How his best friend? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know him before. He says that I said that. Yeah, Charlie, they're, they're calling me in. Let's uh, have a conversation tomorrow. Give me a buzz if you have time. Yeah, Is there anything actually, you want me to do for your, your parents? Uh, anything I can help with? Yeah, it was actually going to get some important stuff. When, uh, can I call you maybe tonight or you want me to call you tomorrow? No, call me tomorrow. Uh, tonight, I will call tomorrow. me tomorrow. Yeah, after, uh, after 12. Yeah. After 12. Okay. All right. For, for sure. All right. Thanks for picking up. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.